Hello everybody, video here for you today. This is the no cap recap of the Curse of Oak Island season 11, episode 15 called On Target, aired February 20th, 2024. If you missed my recaps of previous episodes, there's a link in the upper right. Let's get into it. Do 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 do. Previously, on the Curse of Oak Island, people have been looking for an incredible treasure for 229 years. Dr. Spooner is in the swamp offering his opinions on the new discoveries. He suggests that Billy use the excavator to wash the area. He says the big stone is from a structure and that rocks all in a row are not beach rocks. They are from an excavation, perhaps the money pit. He also says that Billy should continue exposing the new ramp or walkway towards the north to see where it goes. In the garden shaft, Duma's contracting is continuing to excavate at 92 feet. They are working down to put in the last expansion that will intersect the tunnel below. That was last week carbon dated to before the money pit discovery. The tunnel was first discovered by drilling boreholes in a line in the area that has the highest level of trace evidence of gold and silver. Charles and Scott travel to Halifax to meet with ancient documents and leather expert Joe Landry. He says the boot found in the swamp is very finely stitched and would have been for someone of higher status, perhaps an officer. He dates it to the late 1600s, early 1700s, and places it in Europe. In the garden shaft, Rick and Marty help remove some of the clay. Rick shortly hits what he thinks is wood. In the war room, 32nd degree Freemason and researcher Christopher Morford returns to the show. He and fellow show veteran Corey Maul just released their book, The Jerusalem Files, The Secret Journey of the Menorah to Oak Island on February 13, 2024. Christopher believes that the Knights Templar or their descendants were behind the formation of Nolan's Cross, as well as drilled stones that he realized were in the line from the beach stone, Cone C, that marks the end of the left arm of the cross, through a drilled stone, through the stone that marks the top of the cross, Cone A, through another drilled stone to the money pit. Rick reminds us that Frederick Blair found another drilled stone in the Money Pit area in 1895. It was subsequently moved by later searchers. This shows you the entire line into the Money Pit going right through the Garden Shaft area. And here's the Money Pit view of it, showing it hitting the Garden Shaft itself. Rick, as usual, says he is grateful for the research being done. Rick Surveyor Steve Guptill and Tom Nolan meet at the Cone C Stone on the Nolan Property Beach area. They walk the line to the first drilled stone, which is also on the Nolan property. Then they go to Cone A, which is at the top of the cross. Then to the second drilled stone on lot 15, Steve observes that the second drilled stone is approximately halfway between Cone C and the Money Pit. And here's a graphic showing that. Along the way, Rick mentions that you would need markers due to the elevation changing. The end point is close to, but not on the garden shaft. But what it is on top of is the tunnel underneath it. In the swamp, Billy is uncovering more of the stone walkway or ramp. And his bucket starts unearthing tree stumps. No limbs are visible, meaning they perhaps could have been used as the platform logs in the money pit. Get those carbon dated immediately, obviously. The Dumas contracting foreman notifies Rick and the team that they have hit wood at the bottom of the garden shaft. 
I go down to take a look and see round wood, also reminiscent of the money pit. Rick taps a solid beam, but then another piece of wood that sounds hollow, perhaps due to the tunnel being underneath them. Next time on an all new The Curse of Oak Island, season 11, episode 16, called Dark and Stormy, Dr. Spooner says if the logs date to the 1200s, that's the same as the paved area in the swamp. The scientist or expert says the money pit samples, perhaps the soil that was also found on Lot 5, are from southeast France. Gary and Jack are very excited because there is a design on something they found. And in true Oak Island form with all this excitement, a hurricane rolls in. The episode synopsis reads as follows. While new discoveries across the island continue to invigorate the team, a dangerous storm threatens to shut down the entire operation. I'll continue recapping Season 11 late Tuesday nights throughout the rest of the winter and spring, as well as continue to do retro recaps of Season 6 through 8, Seasons 1 through 5, 9, and 10, and the already aired episodes of Season 11 are already done. Upcoming streams answering your financial questions with Coach Steve Money is Saturdays and Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, at random time, streams of the older Tomb Raider games. Once again, I'm Coach Steve Money, I'm a Ramsey Solutions Certified Financial Coach. And if you've got money problems or you just want to make sure you're on the right track, you can schedule a free financial coaching consultation slash assessment with me at calendly.com slash Coach Steve Money. You can email me about coaching or anything else on my YouTube channel. Coach Steve Money at gmail.com. Channel donations. You can go to paypal.me slash Coach Steve Money. Alternatively, you can cash app dollar sign Coach Steve Money or send a Walmart gift card to Coach Steve Money at gmail.com. You can add me on the gram at Coach Steve Money. The YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Coach Steve Money, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.